Hello everyone, welcome back to Gomes Tech Talks channel. I am Dr. Gomati. We are in the course Business Central Functional Consultant 101 Mastering the Essentials and we are in the basics. So we now today in this video, we'll be discussing about exploring the different types of pages in the user interface. If you have missed the previous topics, if you have missed the previous videos, please go and watch that. So today, let us start exploring the um, pages. Okay. So in Business Central, there are a number of standard pages, types and user interface items are available. So here we'll be discussing about all the page types and the interface items which are available in the Business Central. So as I told before, this is the role center page. So why this name is role uh, named as a role center because so this is role centric page. Okay, this is based on the roles of a person. This page will change. So if you go to the settings and if you select this my settings, you can see various options where you can also find the option for role. Okay, and if you click that role, the roles will change accountant company hub business manager business manager evaluation so you have various options here so based on the role the uh, page will change okay this i have already showed in the previous video again i'm just showing now currently we are in the accountant role you can see here this is what the accountant role and before I change, please see the role center page as well. So being an accountant, you cannot see all these things like overdue purchase and other queues and all. Okay. You cannot see more information. So the access will restricted only for the accounts related thing and you will not get, uh, you cannot see the information more than the uh, pages or the interfaces which are required for uh, the uh, accountant okay so if i change here let me just go to the my settings again and if i change here as a business manager and if i click okay then the role center page will update where here you can see some more options which are specific for the business manager okay this is what role center page which is based on a role centric design to give you fast access to the business process and intelligence tool that you need to do your job okay so here you can see that this will change uh, let me just change this company as well because uh, your company should also need to be a uh, correct company okay okay let me just try to change this as well and show it to you for example this specific role center page for example a bookkeeper and a business manager need to have a quick access to different information and they need to access a different actions okay you can just go and check with the various roles okay and i have a quick actions the different role centers of the bookkeeper and the business manager reflect these differences in needs or access so here if i change this to my company okay so to Cronus, fine and also i am changing this to business <coughs> manager and if i click okay you can see that the company will also change and the role based on that is the information based on that particular role will also display <coughs> So this is what I told as a role specific. So here you can see this is for manager and here you can see that there are various options which are popping up for a business manager for evaluation. Okay, so this is what the role center page talks about. So it's a specific for the specific roles. So you can change it on the right side in the my <coughs> my settings page okay so here you can see that on the left side you have app launcher <clears throat> okay so this is we call it as an app launcher and we also have a navigation bar so the navigation bar is under the app bar so this is the app bar basically okay we call this as an app bar okay and under this whatever we have we call it as a navigation bar so this is a navigation bar uh, of the company that you are working in and navigation menus we also have the navigation menus for example this we have we call it as a navigation bar okay and here you have various menus right so if you click here you can see the navigation menu so if i click here finance it will show me the content related to the finance this is very quick access to the data and the documents of a specific functional domains of the department okay and you can also see the list area of the role center okay 
list area of the role center you can you will find the users list of the most useful entities in the business central okay so here you can see these are the list areas okay like uh, finance customers okay this is a headline area so this is actually the headline area okay the headline area this is what the headline which display series of automatically changing headlines that provide users with up to date information and insight into the business and daily work so the most popular uh, item last week or last month the largest sales order okay so here you can find the headline areas for that okay and this is what the headline area we usually call it as and uh, the action area will be there okay so it is not available here so let me just check okay so that will be you can just click the show to the demos where it will show you like um uh, okay skip for now because since so here you can see more action areas as well okay and also you have you have queues and action tiles so these we call is a, a call it as the queues okay these are all the queues so queues and action tiles will not will also be available here okay and you can also see the insights if you just scroll down you can also see the insights here like what is the favorite these are the accounts okay so favorite accounts and if you just scroll down you can see report inbox so these are the insights we have okay and you can configure these list in the following way like for example you can just click here you can you have the option here if you wanted to configure this you can also configure using the three dots okay so here you can see if you click here you can manage more so manage list if you click the manage list you can also configure is here configure that here so if you wanted to add new you can click and add a new if you want to open this as an open in an excel you can also open it so this is how you can also manage the list and you can see the business performance here so this is what the business performance which is happening so here you can see though so wherever you go like you can simply click on the uh, dots or the arrow mark where you can see various options other options as well which is available so the previous chart select the chart week month everything okay so these are the various other options which you can try so here you can see the reports in the chart which is embedded with uh, through the power bi okay these are embedded with power bi okay so dynamics 365 business central publishes the um, dynamics 365 business central crm finance and sales uh, power bi okay so this power bi we provide report that is which provides reports uh, we can also uh, connect with the data so here you can see like you have various other information okay this also provides you can just connect here you can see this is a power bi report okay this is the sales performance inside there itself sorry this is the power bi okay so if you wanted to connect with the power bi you can simply click get started where it will connect with the power bi and you can connect the data and uh, you can showcase the uh, visualization or the dashboard uh, from there to here okay where we will ch check this in a different sort of video like how to connect with a power bi report and how to get it uh, back here okay so this is about the power bi and the reports which are available over there and you can activate the role center okay that is the uh, based on the people you are using based on the uh, based on uh, the company which they use so all these things based on these things it will you can just activate it okay if you are a uh, if you are an admin so you can uh, uh, so you can select the role you wanted to avail uh, you wanted to need you need it from a available role centers itself okay so these are the various components which are available various interface which are available in the role center itself so we'll be discussing about the often using pages which are available in the business central often we'll be dealing with few pages which are called as a list page card page and the document page okay so these three types of pages we'll be dealing with the uh, uh, through business uh, through the business central uh, uh, interface okay so the list page displays the list of customers for example if you click here customers okay so here it is showing you the list of customers got it so if you want to change the view of this okay just to change the view here it will take you to the list page so it will show you the list of customers if you want to see the list of vendors you can go and click here vendors you can also see the items bank accounts and the chart of accounts so these are the uh, different list pages which are available 
okay you can see multiple records which are there in single page which we call it as a list page list okay it consolidates all the record okay so uh, these pages are typically used to search and filter the information so here you can easily search and filter the information so here you have a search option though here i have only few records so it is easy to un uh, easy to fetch it out but in the real time scenario we will be having more than thousands or 10000s of record where you can not directly fetch it out so you have to go and search it if you wanted to create a new list you can also create a new entry here where it will open up as a page uh, sorry as a card so next one is the card page so card page is basically like if you select any one list it will take you to a card page okay so a card page help you view and edit one record or entity from a table so the card page displays a wider selection of detailed information than a list the card page only displays information from one record while a list page displays multiple records okay so here this uh, shows the record about the uh, uh, customer which is uh, with the customer number 10000 so if you want to change something you can edit and change it here or else if you wanted to create a new uh, customer record you can simply plus this plus in order to create a new customer record mm. okay so simply select it here it will take you it will open a new record okay just click okay okay so you can create an another record so where the name is given here you can enter the name which is mandatory and you can give the uh, ic partner so you can select it from here the code is not here and you can you can like uh, you can add the credit limit block uh, block like that and the privacy block you can enable this this is everything we will understand okay so these are the lookup so it will it is getting the data from a different table so all these things if you can if you just uh, if you just it also have some automatic changes like automatic calculations as well so this is a card page and once if you press uh, back okay you can see that the new card page has been created which we have uh, created now right we haven't entered any data but anyhow it has created and finally the document page which specifically focuses on a user task okay you can just go and select here sales order so you can select here sales order okay this shows the document page this it will open up like a thing okay so if you click here sales order so here you can see a document page okay so what happens here is what um, the document pages well sales order like a purchase order or a sales invoice purchase invoice posted sales invoice posted purchase invoice and many more so what is a uh, uh, what is a document page you can see here it focuses on the user task okay so here you can see uh, in the card page you will not be having this uh, this like a repeaters or something like okay where it here you can see that uh, uh, if it is a sales order okay for a specific uh, customer so you can write the customer name and you can uh, see requested delivery date when you have to deliver what is a contact what is the external document number everything you can enter and you can type like what are the items they require really require so the item what is the item number and what is the uh, item reference and everything you can enter this is somewhat like a, uh, a invoice for example i'm just telling you can enter everything and just save it so this is what the sales order invoice so these are the very very essential and uh, uh, important uh, thing which you should know uh, about the pages in business central okay so you'll be dealing with all these things here so in the next video you will understand the role explorer i think so using the role explorer to streamline user task how you can streamline the user task okay so we'll be understanding the role explorer so very uh, in detail thank you take care and bye bye